<laughs> right now, getting ready to get some dinner, man. We're gonna pass by NYU, but what I love about anything, we're bringing the Fultron back together. This is some of my brothers. We've been friends, man, since we were teenagers, man. You talking 20 years plus now. Got my man O over here, my boy Joe. What up? Wolfpack 2020, guys. We're missing two New more York members City, Voltron. get ready. We're getting ready so, to get our grub Jack on. Jack Brooks, you know we miss you. Uh, That's right. Y'all need to come back, all right? That's what y'all need to do. Listen. You can feel that energy when you're in the city, man. It's the best place to be, and you guys are gonna get more of this kind of action, guys. Join our travel group. You're gonna see this every day of the week, guys. Let's get right. some food, and I promise you, what we're gonna get is a delicious Caribbean night tonight. It's a Saturday. You never know what's gonna happen in the city on the Saturday. Grill, right down here by NYU, got in the grill. Great Caribbean spot right now. Make you feel like you're back in Jamaica. Let's do this. As we're in Harlem, like I said, we're in my stomping grounds. Let me give you guys a little history lesson. Behind me, you'll see a building here named after Adam Clay Powell, guys. This guy was significant about a lot of growth that happened with economic growth in the black community here in Harlem. Helped with a lot of the school systems we have here today. What's funny is the guy started out as a reverend and he moved into politics to help out the black community. He was, he was usually given a hard time because he was a very high complexion biracial looking brother, but he really stood for the black communities and all the kids here in Harlem. Little known secret that most people here know, but they don't talk about it. Bumpy Johnson, notorious gang member, affiliated with drugs and heroin in Harlem, worked with Ed, Adam Clayton Powell to get him on the ballot, guys. They galvanized all the black people here in Harlem, all the way uptown to the Bronx, to get people to vote to get this brother elected. First brother we had that even get into Congress in the Senate seat right here in Harlem, guys. Take a look at the building. We got the statue over there to honor him. We're gonna walk over there too, guys. Hey guys, we're back still here in Harlem, guys. Behind me, I told you guys, we're in a Mecca Center for Black History. Adam Clayton Powell statue here. It gives you empowerment of what we can do as a black community. This man was back in the days, man, when Harlem was ran by drugs in the community and a lot of police brutality. But if you look behind us, guys, Harlem has become a Mecca Center for commerce for the black people here. It started with this man right here. So I love it that we are commemorating him every day right here in the middle of Harlem, guys. 125th Street. Come home with me. Check it out, guys. We're still here in Harlem now. We're back uptown. Look behind me, guys. Harlem Hospital here. If you didn't know, this is the hospital that Blue Ivy, Jay-Z's daughter, Beyonce's daughter, was born in, guys. This is where most of Harlem Knights are born and Harlem Kings and Princes. You know what I'm saying? Check it out, guys. New historic spot. Hey guys, welcome back to New York City. We're here at the New York Stock Exchange, guys, the corner of Wall Street and Broad Street, as you can see behind you guys. As many people know, this is where business happens, guys. This is where money gets done, where there's over a trillion dollars in transactions done every day here, guys. Wall Street signifies big business, and it's why in America we are the number one superpower, guys. I'm a trader myself. I have money in TD Ameritrade, guys. I've been able to amass quite a bit of money myself, but I'm gonna tell you right now, there's nothing like the energy you feel when you're on Wall Street, guys. You feel like it's time to make money, and New York is where it happens, guys. So we're gonna go get you a shot of the, the Wall Street and the New York Stock Exchange, guys, so just stay tuned, walk with us. saying it's a pleasure to get anybody on a holiday weekend to get out of their house get away from their families because you guys are so in tune with trying to improve your lives and we're hoping today we can share some things with you guys most people don't leave their lives they just accept it and i'm from new york city we're a big fan of jay-z anybody ever been to harlem anybody yeah. in new york how many people Notice that most people just accept what's in front of them. Yeah. I tell people all the time, it goes beyond business when it comes to this. It goes with relationships as well. If I meet someone and they tell me I had bad cards dealt to me or they complain about a relationship, I tell them all the time, you don't have to tell me verbally that you consent to it, but just your tolerance of the situation lets me know that you accept it. 
So if you are ready to change your life and you're tired of accepting things from how they are, just please raise your hand for me, please. Because I tell people all the time, when it comes to building business success, it's mostly about leadership.